This little gem is Bangalorean lemon rice and it's from the deep south of India. We're going to be using some cashew nuts, we're going to pucker up the rice with some mustard seeds, a little bit of bitterness as well that comes through from just a pinch of fenugreek seeds. Over kind of like a medium temperature, a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're going to add in like half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, just a pinch of fenugreek seeds as well. That just fills the rice with lots of different flavours. And as the mustard seeds start to jig and pop, I can smell already that warming, toasty kind of aroma. Now into our pan, this is about a teaspoon of black lentils, uri dal, and yellow split peas. So teaspoon of each. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. That will give us a lovely kind of sun glow appearance to our rice. Three dried chilies. Now these are Kashmiri chilies and they start to kind of pucker up and they puff up in the pan. They're a little bit kind of milder as well. I love using these. So I'm going to just turn the heat up. Three teaspoons of freshly chopped ginger. And already I can smell this gorgeous kind of citrusy, fresh ginger scent and it fills the pan and you've got the mustard seeds, you've got the warmth that's coming through, you've got the chilli that's now starting to hydrate. And in with that, I'm going to take some curry leaves. So I'm going to just take one stem here and in goes our curry leaves into the pan. Now, immediately, they start to fire off. I'm going to take three tablespoons, kind of like a palmful, really, of cashew nuts. A little bit of pepper as well. You want to get to the stage where the cashew nuts are just kind of toasting, just on the edge here. I've got about three to 400 grams of just plain basmati rice. Now all we do is just add that to the pan. Look at that. So Bangalorean lemon rice wouldn't be lemon rice without this. So we want to squeeze of some fresh lemon juice. And this is the kind of dish that you definitely want to be serving up for your Spice for Life supper.